Hey everyone, Dawn of Sunshine Stitches. Today we're working on another mug rug. This is a cute little gnome guy. He is called Flower Gnome. And he is really simple. You will need two pieces for the panels on the top corners. You will need one piece for your center panel. This is panel one, this is panel two, this is panel three. You will need a piece of low loft quilt batting. And you will need two pieces of backing. I'm using quilting cotton and all of my fabrics for the quilt mugs have an added stabilizer. It's a lightweight iron-on stabilizer. So let's get started. The first step, of course, is the outline. You will need to measure your spaces. This design is five by seven. After you do your outline, you wanna cover your center panel and tack that in place. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we have our center panel, panel one, tacked in place. After that step, you're going to trim it, leave about a quarter of an inch on the outside of the stitching, just like that do both sides. Okay, both my sides are trimmed. Now you need the fabric pieces for panel one and panel two. And you can use all fabric. You do not have to use vinyl. I just like the way it looks. When you're adding panel two, leave about a quarter of an inch seam because we're going to stitch this and we're going to flip it over just like that. So I'm going to add both panels and then I'll be right back. Okay, both my panels are added. That was two steps. So this step to add panel two, then you stop and you add panel three. Once you've added your panels, you wanna fold them back and fold them back gently. You want it to be a nice seam, but you don't wanna pull it and stretch the fabric. You're going to tape those in place So there's that one taped in place. And again, don't pull too firmly, just, just enough to hold the fabric down. You don't want to show this seam underneath. See if I pull real hard? You can see that seam. So you don't want to do that. Now I'm going to add the top stitching or little zigzag line right here where panel two and three connect. Okay, our little zigzag is added. Next, we're going to do the flowers, and I used a variegated green. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, our little flowers are added. Now we're going to do the red for his shoes and his hat. Be right back. Okay, we got his little shoes and his hat done. Now we're gonna do his beard, but tape an extra piece of tearaway behind his beard just to give it some support so it doesn't ripple or get too heavy. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, his little beard's done. Now we're going to do his nose. Okay, we did his little nose. Now we're going to do all the outline and the detail stitching. Okay, our little gnome is complete. You can take off your extra piece of tearaway. And we're going to add our low loft quilt batting. You just wanna tape that in place because we're going to do the stippling in the corners. There you go. So after I finish the stippling, I will be right back. Okay, our stippling is complete in both corners. Now we're going to add our two-piece back. You want to cut a piece large enough to extend past your original outline. You're going to cut that in half. You're going to fold back one piece of the lining, about a third of an inch. 
You're going to place that over your design and make sure it covers all of your outside edges because this is the final seam for your little mug rug. <clears throat> you want to tape those in place, keep the tape out of your stitching line. You will add these right side down. The second piece you want to line up with the raw edge of the fold to make sure that there's enough to hand stitch. You can go over just a bit if you want. And this way when we turn it, you have no other seams on the outside other than just hand stitch this little piece in the back. So I'm going to attach these and I'll be right back. Okay, all the machine stitching is complete. Right here on the seam where your pieces overlap, you want to make sure that you watch your machine. You don't want your needle bar to get hung up there. Always watch the videos twice in case I make a mistake. Since this is all stitched, now you're going to remove this from the hoop. Remove all your tape and your tearaway. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, all the tearaway has been removed. I like to cut my batting very close to the edge, so I'm going to cut that first. Okay, the batting's cut very close. Now I'm going to cut all the way around and remove the excess fabric and vinyl. I leave about a quarter to a third of an inch. Should look something like this. Reach into that opening, turn it around. I'm going to flip it out and I'll be right back. Okay, our little guy is all turned, and if you turn him over, you have this opening. What I like to do is press it from the back side because I've used vinyl, I don't want to iron that. So after I press him, that seems nice and flat. Then I go in with a blind stitch and stitch that closed. And you have a cute little mug rug. This one still needs to be stitched. This is what they look like after they've been pressed, but before they've been stitched right here. Thank you so much. Have a sunshine day.